Hello, Team Leo. It's Empire333 here with their Love Tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are on planet Earth. So, Leo, this is for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. These readings are timeless. Keep that in mind. And uh, I won't have time to do extended today. I'm actually I'm not feeling too great. I have the sniffles and my neighbors are waiting on me to do construction on their home, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, they're remodeling or reconstructing. I don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of noise, so they're on hold for, you know, they're on hold waiting for me. That's still kind of them. Um, so, anyhow, let's get into your love, romance, reading, Virgo, I mean, Virgo, Leo, Wow, you might be dealing with a Virgo, okay? So, Leo, what I'm seeing is that you're in the midst of someone, I feel that you're, you're, um, you're feeling like you have to cut somebody out of your life, okay? This could be, you know, someone who you feel a very close bond with. I feel that you might think that you're, you know, you know for sure, like this is my soulmate, this is my twin flame, and why is it that we're going through this really rough patch? I'm getting rough patch. Well, the issue here is things are not clear between you two. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like smoke and mirrors, right? And because a lot of you are trying to figure out what purpose this person has in your life. Like, why was I, why am I loving them? Why am I, do I care about them so much? Why have they made such a big, you know, um, imprint on my life, you know? And a lot of you, um, this could also be someone who, it's like there was a lot of passion in the connection, but it's passionate in negative and positive forces. So this is what I want to say when it comes to passion, it could be negative, it could be positive guys. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you are questioning now, well, why was this person in my life? What was their, you know, purpose? Um, what was I supposed to learn? Cause there is a lot of things that you're learning right now. Um, and you learned throughout the person I'm talking about. So whoever first comes to your mind, that's who I'm talking about. Okay. And spirit is trying to help you here. I feel like a lot of you who are asking for help, you have to release control of the situation, okay? This has to do with control issues. This is yellow jasper. Um, what I'm also getting is like you're kind of just mad about like all the things you did for this person and it fell through, okay? So that has to do with control. That has to do with an attachment. So I feel like there's an unhealthy attachment between you and this person, okay? Okay. Um, Am I saying you both don't care about each other? No. Um, what I'm saying here is that it became toxic. It became negative. There was a lot of, um, like I said, I'm seeing gray clouds around the energies here, okay? And as, as soon as you release the control you have over the situation or what you expect for it to happen, um, I feel like spirit is with you. This is moonstone. Your intuition is going to be heightened and you're going to be led by your intuition. Okay, Leo? And um, this is to clear out the negativity. This is smoky quartz. It's such a good crystal for clearing out negativity, protection, um, release negativity from within or around you. So some of you also could be dealing with a lot of insecurities are coming up at this time that has to do with past energy is what I'm feeling. And I do see that a lot of you, you know, um, are trying to clear that out. You are doing some things. You might be doing like rituals or things of that sort to clear out whatever negative aspects because you got a birthday coming up, okay? Emerald, ceremonies and celebrations, okay? So you want to be prepped for this birthday. Some of you might be having like a big birthday, like it's like your 30th or your 40th or like a, I feel like it's a, like an important number, okay, is what I'm hearing here. Oh my God, when I said that, it was 444. That is crazy, Leo. You might be seeing 444 and I feel like a lot of you are um, asking for angelic help. 
okay? So you're asking help from the angels to support you in some way, to help you heal, help you move on. Let me know in the comments. I would love to know, okay? So let's get into your person's energy. Um... Wow. Let's see. Leo's person. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Leo, what is going on here? Okay, Leo, I feel like your person in the past, they did something, they lied, they might have been keeping things from you and so forth. What I'm seeing here is that I feel that your person, um, for a lot of you, they want to clarify something from the past, but I see that it's taking a long time for them to come clean, okay? That's what I'm getting, coming clean. But it's been taking a long time for some of you. This person never came clean and talked about whatever it is that was hidden from you, okay? Um, I don't feel like this is present energy. I feel like it's past energy for a lot of you. It could be past, present, future, but keep in mind that what I'm seeing here is that it's something that was already done in the past or held from you and it's taking a long time for this person and there was a lesson to be learned. This is, you know, a karmic lesson here and I feel that that really affected you and this person. Okay, Leo? That, whatever that was, whatever lie, secret, you know, institution. Why am I getting institution? Something was kept back from you. For some of you, this person could be part of a group. Oh, okay, some of you I'm getting like, it's like cult-like. Um, it could be an organization that's not, you know, something that, you know, people, according to you, Leo, that they should, he, they should be a part of. There's a lot of things coming up to the surface here. Um... So yeah, some, yeah, so their person was hiding something from you, definitely, okay? It's past energy, and I feel like this person wasn't coming clean to you in a sense where they were not being transparent, okay? And that really affected the connection. It could also have been somebody else that got into the mix here. And what I'm seeing here is that you were not appreciated, Okay? Your person didn't honor or appreciate you the way you think that you should have been. And what I'm seeing here is someone who closes off their emotions. They're emotionally unavailable. But yet, they still know that you and them are soulmates, okay? This is, this is not the type of connection where one person knows they're soulmate, the other person doesn't. Your person does know that you both have this really strong connection. This could be someone you've known for a long time, ever since childhood. You grew up in the same neighborhood for some of you, okay? And here I'm hearing, um, like, you both had so much fun together, okay? A lot of fun, a lot of good times. It's like, let the good times roll. It was that kind of a connection you felt with this person, okay? And they felt with you, too. Um, yeah, they acknowledge that you both have a very strong soulmate connection, okay? Does it mean it's healthy? No. Does it mean that it can go on forever? Maybe. But, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of held back feelings from your person. Some of you might be have experienced... Um, might have experienced, like, emotional manipulation from your person is what I'm also hearing. Like, if they act a certain way, they probably turn around and blame you for it, Leo. Like, oh, I did this because of that. I hear gaslighting, too. Gaslighting. So your person could have blamed you. Oh, what are we doing? Sorry, next next you all see. 
But the, you know, the messages from Spirit are coming out like really fast, okay? So, or else I wouldn't even get on here. Spirit said it's okay. They gave me permission, okay, to do your reading, Leo. So let's see. What else for my Leos? Okay, in this deck, we're going to go into you, Leo, okay? You know what the thing is? Um, there's something about your home, okay? So, Leo, this is not going to make sense to all of you. But there's something about this person coming home to you, you going to them. It's kind of like you guys were playing house for too long, okay, Leo? You and this person were playing house for too long, but the, the, the foundation was not stable, okay? So it's like, you know, when you're a little kid and you play house and this is the mama and the baba and then like, it's like the kids, whatever, um, the family unit, I don't know, maybe the dogs were the family unit or whatever, animals. <laughs> but you feel like, it's like, because of that, you feel this person was so close to you and you felt like, you know, possibly they were your home and them you, like... You both felt at home and comfort with one another. And you know what Spirit just said? Spirit has said that was the problem. Okay? Even though it was a great feeling, it's like because of that, there was no stable foundation in this connection. Something that, you know, you might want, Leo. Let me know. Did you want a commitment from this person? Because I see it's more like because of that, um, dynamic it got to a point where it was like okay so what's the point of pushing this forward I don't have to show my feelings with you I don't have to tell you how I feel all the time okay this person is moody that's what I'm getting very moody so what I'm seeing here is that the communication between you two was became a problem because of this, right? It's like there were a lot of expectations. Maybe you wanted to control this person because this person was always coming over or vice versa. Maybe you were always going over to their home. There is something about the home environment, the dynamic of whoever went to whoever's home, okay? Whoever, however you were playing home with this person, it's like it became it came to a point where it was like you all just got too comfortable and at the same time i feel like each of you were trying to control each other in a different way and that kind of messed this up too okay oh and there was a lot of confusion so it could have been like you thought, you know, Leo, it could have been this scenario. There's a lot of scenarios coming up. I'm glad I'm not doing a um, extended reading because there's a lot. There would be a lot to cover. But the scenario is, is like one of the scenarios I'm picking up on is like, okay, well, if you come over all the time and you're a regular at my house or my home, whatever, it's like, then I can question you whenever I want. I can question your feelings. Do you care for me? Do you love me? How are you feeling? Why are you doing that? Why are you not doing this? You know, it kind of like, it became a point where the home, the whole home dynamic became an attachment. And oh, you got disappointed, Leo. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm being nice here. You got disappointed. Some of you are pissed off. Okay feel you but I just heard you late you made your own bed okay so it's kind of like you wanted the commitment you this person got too comfortable with you you made them feel too comfortable okay so that's why they didn't try the way they're supposed to so let's see how else are what are the energies you are feeling Leo Okay, we got the Queen of Swords here. So some of you feel really cold now. You just in this mood, you're like, you know what? I'm about to cut this person out of my life for good. Yeah, whoa. 
wow. This person has you on their mind, okay? That's you. Um, they're really attracted to you. There's a lot of chemistry here, but this is about you and you're like, you're done with it. You're ready to cut this person out for good. This time for good, good. So Leo, I feel like some of you keep going back and forth to this person. Um, keep stopping, getting back together. But you realizing, hey, there's no big moves being made. This person, you feel is, they're just stringing you along. Okay, they're not making any moves. Like I told you, there's no solid foundation. This came out in reverse. I'm going to take it in reverse because there's no solid foundation in this connection. So like, even though there's feelings here, even though there's, you know, you might care about one another, you might be soulmates, but soulmates don't mean forever. You can have 20 soulmates. Okay. And I feel that Spirit is saying here, you're learning something from this, Leo. You are. And as soon as you acknowledge that and let go control, and I feel like a lot of you will be cutting this person out because the feelings are, the feelings are going away, Leo. It's even, it's even surprising you. So some of you might be like, oh my God, I was so into this person before. Why am I losing feelings, right? Because it got too heavy. You got to carry on this burden of this connection. I don't feel like your person is doing the work. So like your person might be just blowing you off. And here you are been carrying this around for way too long. A lot of you, let me know how long you've been in and out of this with this person. <coughs> Excuse me. Because <coughs> some of you, I feel like it could have started out as just fun Fun in a sense where maybe you were friends or maybe you were, um, I'm going to say it in a nice way, friends with benefits. I heard another word, but um, and it got to a point where you both started to care about one another and maybe you just got used to one another. That's the thing. They keep saying comfort zone, okay? So you wanna, you're done. You you don't wanna carry this around anymore. I feel like you're realizing, you're coming to the acceptance that this person is not, nothing is moving forward. You're both are stuck, okay? So let's see. Yeah. It's this crossroads energy with you, okay, Leo? It's like, this is what you want. This is what you truly want, and you want to be happy, and it, it you want some type of stability. You want to be happy. You want to celebrate one another. This is also like the 1111 card, and this is about you and you realizing and coming to acceptance where you can't have this with this person. I feel like it's, it's you accepting it and letting go control. That's what it is, even though some of you are like, because you're so used to this person, Leo. You're so used to them. So it's like they're your comfort zone, even though they, you don't feel comfortable. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the, what is it, uh, catch-22. It's like you're, they're your comfort zone. They're your home, but, you know, or you're their home, whatever, both of you. But it's like you, you, you want this, Leo. It's not, it's not happening, you know? Let's see. Let me see if this person is going to do anything towards you. Let's see. Spirit, can you tell us? Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. I feel that somebody else is keeping you from this person. It could also be like family. It could also be a commitment to something else, some type of dedicated, you know, things. I just got something about a business for some of you. Like a, this person's in a business. It could be family business. But I feel that there's a lot lacking in this connection. And I don't see your person making moves anytime soon. So whoever I'm speaking about, 
I feel like they won't make any any moves anytime soon because they're stuck in a situation that is playing a big role with everything else with you. And they, like I, I'm, they keep saying, Spirit keeps mentioning, they got way too comfortable and so did you in playing house, okay? So Leo, I hope that this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to like. Let me know in the comments how you resonated with this video and subscribe would love to have you here if you um vibe with me and my style of reading i wish you all the best leo and peace out